Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to my channel and to Punched Out Thursday with Kathy, Krista, Dorothy, and myself. Um, I'm I'm gonna totally, totally mess up on this video. Seriously, look how far I zoomed in. I don't know what I was thinking, and of course, I wasn't looking at the screen. I generally don't. I just, <laughs> I just scrapbook. I am so sorry, but yeah, most of this is not even going to be where you can see it. I will try to explain what I'm doing, though, so you can uh, maybe figure it out. I punched out my smaller oval punch there, and that's going to be the legs. And um, I'm going to make one of those dolls. I pointed it out on the picture. My granddaughter has two dolls in her arms, and I'm going to make one similar, similar to those. And I took the punch, and I punched out the entire oval. Then I just punched out some tips. And th those are going to be part of the feet. I'm just going to glue them there on the bottom. But then see the yellow circle? I'm going to add it. Um, I debated on the size, and I picked that size. And I mean, it's just barely, barely big enough. It's almost too small. I should have probably cut just a little bit more so it could be deeper like, you know, a little longer or something, but I didn't. So I went ahead and went with it and used them. But uh, I am inking them with that pink ink. I'm going to ink everything. Sometimes I use different inks for different colors of cardstock, but this time I decided to use the pink for everything. And can't hardly tell I've got ink on there though to look at. Oh, maybe it's upside down. I don't know. Um, I'm going to punch out of this one and see I used the larger oval and I only did half of it and that way I could do the torso and then I'm going to glue it down and don't do that. <laughs> I, I glued it down and then I thought, oh, I think I'd like a ruffle on the bottom of this. It does not have a ruffle on the doll itself, but I thought it'd look pretty good on my punch art. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make a ruffle and uh, tuck it underneath there. Oh, I went ahead and punched out two arms. I don't guess I'm doing the ruffle yet. And those are going to be, I decided to make the arms match the torso. Since, you know, it looks like a blouse top shirt or something. And so, yeah, it is the same colors of um, paper that I'm using for it. And here I'm trying to tuck the ruffle <laughs> underneath there. And I first used the uh, scallop punch. And it was just a little too much work to try to tuck under there. So I just hand cut a scallop and stuck it under there. And uh, it, was, it was a lot easier. <laughs> I will use the scallop on the bonnet, though. And here I'm putting the arms on it. I've got one arm going up and one arm going more downward. And the reason is, is I'm going to have some balloons later. And I wanted a hand going up to hold the balloons. This yellow right here, I had scraps of everything, as you could see. I just, except for the background paper, it was all kinds of scraps. I, well, I think the pink was an eight and a half by 11, really thin paper that I got many years ago. And I've been digging into that old stuff lately. We had a scrapbook store go out of business, and I bought plenty when I could get it for like, I think it was like 10 cents a piece and so yeah i bought quite a bit um i made the hands using the bow punch and this is the one with the loops and i just folded it over and then rounded the edges and clipped it apart i'm what am i doing now how I, do y'all want to stand on your tiptoes? That's what I feel like I should be doing. Standing on my tiptoes and looking over down in there and trying to see what I'm doing. I cannot see. Like I said, total failure on this video. Uh, I am 
I cut me a little strip there and I'm just going to make cuffs for the shirt because the doll actually has cuffs on there. I may not have thought of doing it if it wasn't for that. There I cut an inch and a quarter head. That's too big. I held it up there and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and punch it and make it smaller and use the same piece. That was a little difficult. And I thought, dummy, get you a piece of um, sticky note. And so I'm going to stick it to the sticky note. And I guess I am gone hunting for the sticky note and stick it in there and it'll go ahead and cut. And it does it really good. It works really well because it's long enough to reach in there. I inked around the face too with the pink. And oh, here I'm going to work on my bonnet. Remember I was talking about that before. I am making like the front of the bonnet right here just to go around the face. I'm not putting it on yet because I'm going to go ahead and put my ruffle on first. And there's my scallop punch for the ruffle. I'm punching it first with the inch and a half uh, circle punch. So I'll have a curve there. And then I punch the scallop punch. And now, although you can't see it, I'm putting a little clip in the middle of each one of the scallops. And there I'm putting glue on each one. And then I'm just going to kind of push them together so that the bonnet will be more curved. And it's going to look a little more three-dimensional doing that too. You will see, and you really will because it is somehow, some way in the screen, you will see how it's going to curve. See how it's curving around the front of the face instead of laying down flat. And it just does it a little bit, not a whole lot. But, uh, yeah, the little clip parts is what's making it do that. And here I put a little bit of glue on here, and I'm going to put that little sliver on the bonnet right there. And I was planning on putting a little curl coming down on the forehead, and I forgot about that until I was watching the video. And I thought, well, I guess she won't have a little curl there. Uh, this is the back of the bonnet, and it's going to be just a little too wide at the bottom. So I'm going to clip it, because you're not going to see that part anyway, and just put it right back on. And I kind of tilted it to the left, so that it looked like her head's tilted just a little bit more. This is the 1 8 inch punch, and I'm going to punch two eyeballs. Well, just eyes. I'm not going to make a, have no whites of the eyes or anything. I'm just going to make two black eyes and put them on there. And then I'm actually going to use markers for the nose and the mouth. And they're just Sharpies. And that one's a lighter pink. And then I'm doing the mouth with a darker. And I didn't even think, but this is textured cardstock that I use. So the mouth kind of bled just a little bit because I pushed a little too hard. But I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I already got the rest of the head together, so yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm putting pink there for the blush, and uh, yeah, I'm done with the, well, I'm done with the uh, body at the moment. I'm going to do something with the hand later, and here I'm moving all this stuff out of the way, and you would think that would be a sign to myself to zoom back out. But no, I don't do that. I don't do that for a while. Like I said, total failure on this video. I was tempted just to forget about it and just not even do a Punched Out Thursday this week. And I thought, oh, I got other teammates here. <laughs> They're expecting a Punched Out Thursday. And I've had so much trouble with the internet that I was a little late on some. And I thought, I think it can be on time this time if I just go ahead and load this one up, hopefully. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to load it up. I don't think I have time to do another one, but I'm going to load this one up. Uh, I might get some thumbs down, but I am sorry for messing up here. Uh, I was watching a movie while I was doing this which was not good to do, not on Punched Out Thursday, and not when I zoomed in. And, you know, lately I haven't been zooming in because of the fact that I forget to zoom out. But it's even worse, I can tell, if you zoom in too far. So I need to pay attention how much I zoom in if I do get the urge to try it again. And see, it's shakier looking if I have um, the zoomed in part. 
Yeah, sorry about that too. But hopefully I will do better next week. I know I'll pay a lot more attention because I goofed so bad this week. Uh, but yeah, and, tomorrow, uh, and tomorrow's mixed media frenzy. Hopefully I'll do better on it too. I usually don't zoom in on that. And I just, I don't know why I did this time. I thought, oh, I'm going to zoom in. People probably wish I would. And so I did. Well, y'all may never, ever see it zoomed in. <laughs> oh, I just cannot believe I did this. Ah, oh, but yeah, look how close that is. And here I am punching out circles and ovals so that I can make balloons. You know, I mentioned them earlier. And there's that bow punch. And I'm going to use the tails and put them on the bottom of my balloons. They're kind of big for it, but I decided to go for it anyway and use them. Oh, and I'm pulling the pink out there again because I did ink the all the shapes. And I cut part of this out because my video was so absolutely long. And I thought, it's bad enough. Oh, and did you notice I zoomed out? <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. Ah, finally. <laughs> I bet you all thought it was never going to happen. I was sitting here all depressed and didn't even notice it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I am highlighting my balloons now. I put uh, the tails on them, and aren't they long? But I like that. I thought that, that'll be cute. I'm going to go ahead and go for it. And I'm putting highlights on the balloons, and I'm going to put highlights on the little doll, too. And then I'm going to start putting them down. I'm going to put some straight onto the paper and then some on foam tape. And then I'm going to pull the string down and put it in the doll's hand so i'm thinking about getting done with this i like i said i cut some of the repetitive stuff out i mean i actually had edited and everything and left it in and then happened to look at how many minutes it was <laughs> it's like 19 minutes so i thought i gotta cut some more out here so i went back and cut some more out and here i'm putting the balloons on her hand and gluing them down and then I'm going to punch a half inch circle to lay on top of that like her hand is closed over the balloons. And that way you can't see the actual the actual string from the balloons. And my title's Baby Doll Love. There's Charlie. And I mentioned before how much she loved dolls. I mean, sometimes she'd have every doll that there was in the playroom in here in the living room. And have them lined up playing with them or carrying them around. I mean, she'd have her arms full. And this was Christmas. And I think I cropped the Christmas tree lights out. But you can see the Christmas tree lights behind her. And uh, her and her sister just opened theirs. And she already had them in her hand. Both of them. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, that's it. That's my layout. If you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And and if you like the video, and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. But I'd understand if you didn't. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you who are, thank you so much. But have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.